This is a very brief look at the modification I've made to the Fuse debugger to use tagged source. So I've got Fuse running here. Open up the debugger. You can see I've got this extra window at the top. If I go across and drag over a taggable source file, which has been generated by a script from the program I've been writing, you can see it's all the listing files all concatenated together. And the listing from the C code is mixed with the listing from the output of the compiler. So let's say I'm interested in a function called act on collision. That's where I think I've got a problem. Pick up that. Let's put a breakpoint on that. Okay, now go and get the binary itself. Load that into the emulator. And we hit the breakpoint. So we're broken on act on collision, and as I step through, you can see it's working its way through. Step over that one. It's it's working its way through the um, the C listing mixed with the assembly language listing. Now the original this assembly is still here, and it stays in lockstep. Um, so as I continue stepping you can see that the two things are, w are working together. Um, so as I continue to move down, let's say I'm interested in this function test direction blocked. So I continue to step. Here's the call to it coming up just here. So if I step into that, continue to go through it, So there's a function coming up, is attribute not? I'm going to skip over that, but I'm interested in the result, and the result comes back in the L register, which we can see it's come back as zero. So now I can step through here, and so on. You get the idea.